Hey, good evening, everybody. I just received a very interesting question and I'm gonna answer it for you as real as I can. Um, the question is, how do you know when it's best to flip a house, meaning sell it really fast, or hold it long term? I happen to have experience in both. I started real estate when I was 17, I've been, I've been actively buying since I was in my very early 20s, like say 21, like successfully buying. Um, I have property today that I have owned for 30 plus years. And I've had a lot of properties that I've owned for no longer than 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Sometimes I've owned properties for a year or two years. I've rented them and, uh, and then eventually sold them. So having that real hands-on experience from actually owning property for 30 plus years as a rental and also for getting in and out of property for that, that nice cash flow, if you would, that, that bigger hit, that larger hit when you sell it. I would say that I would have to tell you if you're new to the investment, to the investment game, and you have an alternative source of income, 100% my answer would be to hold the property, to keep that property rented. You will be so happy in 10, 15, 20 years. Trust me when I tell you that. Uh, if you do not have an alter alternative source of income and buying and selling real estate is your only option, whether you're a wholesaler or an actual investor, then yeah, sell that property, make your, make your money on it, but as fast as you can, get a piece of property that you can hold. Because in the long run, that property is going to go up so much in value, the debt that's owed against it, is gonna go down, and at some point you're gonna have free and clear property that's just paying you cash month in and month out. It'll pay for your cars, it's gonna pay for your vacations, it's gonna pay for your personal home, it, it'll pay for everything. So that's my answer. This is Barry Malcolm, known as Barry the Buyer. Peace.